My name is Rachel Justine, and I'm 27. I'm based out of Austin, Texas, and this is Financial Audit. What do you do for a living in Austin, Texas? Uh, my main thing is I am a spiritual coach. Okay, interesting. No. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> no, 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 what happened? Nothing. How, how, how does that go? How does that go? Um, it's like therapy or... It's not therapy. It's it's a hybrid between um, uh, online coaching, uh, online courses, and oh. yeah, and also now that you know things are open back up, I'm doing in-person things, and it's a mm. hybrid of like yoga, meditation, uh, life coaching, upliftment, and uh, all the things that I'm not an expert at, but I can actually put together. Anyways, go ahead. Essentially, guiding people into feeling good and fulfillment in their life. Okay. Yeah. And how successful are you in this? Um, not. <laughs> it's a work in progress. Yeah. It's a work in progress. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> so do you feel good in life and all that stuff? I do. I've had a well. I've had a lot of uh, shifts in the last few years that really changed my life and made going for this my dream and my passion. And mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, it's it's a continual journey. And of course, there's ups and downs. But... Ups and downs. I'm curious about uh, a down right now. Talk about passions. Do you have a passion for credit card debt? <laughs> um, this is kind of crazy. I, I don't think I got my first credit card until like two years ago. This was all within the last two years? Yes. It wasn't even built up? Go on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> this motherfucker. This, okay. Hmm. Yeah. You see the face that I said when she did spiritual coach? Yeah. It's the same face he did when she's like, mm, mm. This is all in two years. Mm, ka. Mm. Charlatan. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I hadn't um, I hadn't had the experience with credit cards in at all, mm -hmm. and Stop I, I didn't understand there was. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. I didn't understand there was like different seasons of the work, and there were times of making more and then making less. So it became this. You didn't do like market research into this industry before you decided this is what we're doing full time. Um, not in the sense of like. I just saw coaches who were just constantly making, you know, 40K months. and $40,000 a month? Uh-huh. That'd be nice. I know, right? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that was like, that's where the head was at. My head was at. So you, you were more into the money than helping people. You saw people that were coaches, other coaches that were making that kind of money, and you're like, I want to make that kind of money. So that's the reason why it's a hybrid and not something that you really, it's, it's all the things that you think you believe in, but you're not really an expert at. You mash it together, and you make, you're a charlatan. And also... Most of those coaches not making 40K a month. No. It's Instagram. They're just faking a lifestyle, but they'll sell you on it. But you're the person who gets DM'd by some random person. Hey, do you want to make 10K a day? And you believe that shit. It's stupid. They That's don't make 40K a month. They don't make 40K a month. If you... 95% of people on Instagram are lying or scamming or lying about their follower count. They're lying about how much money they make. They're lying about how many women they get, what Lambos they drive, all this shit. Yo, the amount of people I know who buy fake followers is insane on social media. They, 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 they either get it through their production companies, their agencies. They all got fake followers. You can only tell just by the fucking interactions with their content. Like, they'll have, like, 40,000 likes and, like, 50 comments. Or they'll have 300 comments, but for some reason, they're all from India. Not Bollywood actresses. It's crazy. So, it's all fake. And her saying she bought into that. Then you shouldn't be a coach of anything. <sighs> yep. It's spiritual to want 40K a month. Yeah. Super spiritual. Oh, yeah, super spiritual. All these fucking expensive Fuck jewelries, Fuck nice God. hats, all Amiri you, hats, all that stuff. All you coaches. That's because Buddha wanted it. All you coaches out there. All yeah. You, you, you life coaches and shit like that. When you come up to me like I'm a loud sco life, co life coach, I'm going to be like, mm-hmm. Bro. Charlatans. Spiritual people who are obsessed with material possessions always make me laugh. I'm going to tell you that much. Most people that I've seen being life coaches, most people that I've seen being life coaches, their life is in shambles. And it's okay. That's most of us. But I'm not going up uh, about there teaching to other people, teaching to people. And when my shit is my, my shit is fucked up, I don't go. I, I, I don't. I don't. I go. I don't go. Yeah, charging people. It's, it's even worse. I don't go out there throwing rocks on people's lives, saying, "Ah, oh, you should do this, you should do that." When well, my life is not together. Right. So let's let's listen. And how much you bring in a month? It varies. Average. Give me an average. Let's work with an average here. Break it down between the low months, high months, what's the average cross? Just a brief pause to ask you to please consider subscribing. Look how close we are to 100,000 subscribers. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed so far, and back to the video. Uh, I would say a low month could be anywhere from two, 3,000 okay. to um, an average is, I would say, 6,500. Okay, that's not bad at all. Yeah. That's your average? That's not your high? That's your average? That's an average. Okay, 6,500. Fantastic. What's the complaint about that? Um, she okay. says her average per month is 6,500. Yeah. If she's there, it's because there's a problem. We'll find out. Well, how long have you been doing this full time? Uh, well, I mean, in the last few years. 
Okay, so a couple of years bringing uh, personal business to pr pretty much $80,000 a year. People would love that. I mean, you're $5,000 over the median household income in Austin and well above the median in the United States. And it's just you. Yeah. Why are we in this debt in the first place? <laughs> we haven't even talked about it. We'll go into it, but why? $80,000 a year. Why? Well, yeah, why are you in this debt? Why did you get into it? Why are you not out of it? What is happening? That's a question. I mean, it's on my vision board to have all my debts be cleared. So okay. <laughs> um, I think it, that's where, yeah, I didn't really understand the nature of having like a credit card. So I started making more money than I ever had in the last two years from this. From and, this when? When did um, I start? Making more money than you? Than I ever have made. It yeah. started like tw when, uh, 2020, like okay. spring 2020. Yeah. And, and credit card debt started 19, 18, 2020? The same. Yeah. Like I didn't get my credit card until after I started Gosh. making this. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. How much is in your checking account right now? I cannot see that on here. What's in your checking account? Uh, over 4,000. 4,000. Okay. I am happy with that. That's awesome. $4,000 in the checking. Mm -hmm. Everything in here is just mostly paying off. Well, not paying off cards, but paying towards cards. And you do it in a very interesting way. We have like a mobile payment here of $60 and a Spotify subscription, then a mobile payment of $60. And then we have, we're Venmoing out $2,100. What the heck is that? What are we doing? That's my rent. Your portion? Yes. I live alone. Oh, so that's your landlord? You yeah. pay your landlord? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because that 6500 is pre-tax, which we'll talk about that in a second. Mm -hmm. And then corporate filings, LLC. I, I think I understand that now with the business yeah. and stuff. So, okay. And then we're spending money at Starbucks and we're venuing out the dollar. And then, <laughs> again, here come the mobile payments again. We have $100. We have $60. We have $60. We have $50. We have check card arc my chart, $100. Okay. <laughs> I don't like that $100 with something that you can't think of, but okay, we'll continue with a mobile payment of $50, mobile payment of $50. And GoDaddy payments website that's starting to make more sense. And same with the Squarespace thing. Then we have mobile payment, one hundred twenty dollars. Again, we're just getting all this in a class pass for sixty nine dollars. Class pass? Yeah, that's a workout class. Oh, okay. Yeah. And there's your Squarespace and the Capital One mobile payment of one hundred sixty five dollars and mobile payment of a hundred dollars. And then it looks like with this, there's another one at sixty dollars. But it looks like your T Mobile bill. I have the top plan at T Mobile, seventy bucks. Uh, I think that's the top plan. But yours is ninety nine forty nine. That's making me think that phone right there is not owned. That is financed. It is owned now. It's owned now? Yeah. Like you just paid it off mm -hmm. officially? Because this is 99 bucks. Yeah, it's been, but it, that's just the rate. It used to be like 120 a month. What plan are you on? Are you not on the automatic payment? Because that also brings it down by like five bucks. I'd look at that because you do not need to be on that plan. I promise you. I get coverage everywhere here for 70 bucks a month. Wow. Unlimited. Okay. Not a plug for them, but I mean, you're spending $30 more there when you have a lot of bad debt. And again, we just have mobile payments and mobile payments, Apple subscriptions, mobile payments, mobile payments, mobile payments for years and years is pages of mobile payments. It's just brutal how often this is going on. Now, one thing I do not like what we have here, if we have money going into Acorns right now and subscriptions for Acorns, and Acorns is great. If you don't have really bad debt, you can sign up for Acorns in the description below and get a free five bucks and you put five bucks in, which is great, but it doesn't make any sense for you to do this right now because you have so much debt. Mm. Thoughts, comments, <clears throat> investing in Acorns when you have all this crap debt? So actually that, so that one, I still have that account open. Um, but it was like, that was one of the accounts that I had is like the reserve, you know, like SOL, I, I hit a rough month or something. I need money. Like I had that because Acorns, you they can have draw. a savings account option. No, I just was using it as like an investment safe slash savings. Well, speaking of that, you took $800 out of it. Then you took another $300. Out. Yeah. I needed all of that to come out. Why? I had it. Why $6,500 a month? Do you need that? I hit one of the slowdown periods. Um, so you're not good at saving money then. If, because if we're looking at the average, that's great. But the high months, you need to have that money set aside. Okay. Mm. Yeah. You're in Texas, Texas, so no income tax here. It'll probably be closer to 25. But you need to set money aside. You're going to get into a bad situation mm. where the IRS comes to knock on your door. Mm. Huh. I, I don't know how to not to touch the safe, you know, like I thought about getting a safety deposit box. So that way it's like away from me. You can have a couple different kinds of savings. Cause yes. Now. Okay. So why, why, why can't you, why, why do you always touch the money? I feel like, like something always happens. Well, that's why we have an emergency fund. If there's an emergency and you don't have the money to pay for it, you take it from there. But you mm -hmm. don't want to take tax money. This is why we haven't even talked about an emergency fund, but that would be the extra $20,000, but you never touch it unless you have to. Mm -hmm. But what always happens? What are you doing in your life that you're always getting into some kind of pickle? Because usually recognizing that, mm. you're able to then counteract that in life, you know? Mm -hmm. But if you're just always getting into it, then clearly something's wrong. Can you give us any examples? Well, what's happening? Um, well, I think I, when I started making more money, I wasn't used to making that much money. And um, so I, I went from before, like, always, you know, just barely getting by. And then when I had money start coming in. You buy stupid shit. Yes. You, you buy stupid shit. 
and and on top of that when i got my first credit card it was like oh now i have this money and now i don't even need to spend this money i can spend this credit card money and then it was like it just felt really good and so it was you know and then wanting to live in a mindset of abundance so it's like i want to buy why, <laughs> why live in a mindset of abundance what it is feels that good. oh because it feels good i'm glad we're doing things that feel good a mindset of abundance i don't even know what the fuck that is it's just a way of saying that you're materialistic a mindset of abundance. It's my mind. It's not your mindset that is abundant. You have a lot of shit, and it makes you feel good. You are a shopaholic. Okay, that's just a fucking spirituality term Jim. to say that you you no fuck that shit. And Hard that's what Jim. all that's what all you fucking coaches do. You re upholster some shit to make it look good. That's what you do. Oh no, you're not a bad person. You're just such and such and such. So much that being materialistic, being a fucking shopaholic, someone that cannot control yourself, and you having no discipline, you reupholster that into a mindset of abundance. And that's what you fucking charlatan do. That's what you guys do. That's what the fuck you guys do. And then you go out there and you make other people feel good. You have no expertise in what the fuck you're doing. But you're good at making other people feel good. About and you're what? About and what? What do they make them feel ab good about, about themselves? About, not, about their shopaholic the behavior. Shopper, I, what? No, no. But no, you see what no, I'm saying? No, no. Maybe enabling some of the bad shit too. No, you exactly. You're a bunch of enablers, and that's what you do. It's not so much making you feel good about the shopaholic thing. It's making you feel good about all the stuff. If you feel good, you're gonna spend more. This mm. is a this is a marketing thing. If when, you feel good, you is good. No, it's not even that. If you feel good, you're going to spend more. That's a marketing thing. That's why some uh, some casinos, they pump oxygens. There's bright colors. You don't pay for the alcohol. Okay. If you feel good, mm -hmm. you're spending good. Okay. And if I'm the one that's making you feel good, you're going to be more willing to give me your money. That's what you are doing. Whoa, whoa, can you chill out? I said what I said. I didn't stutter. That's what you are doing you I, charlatans I, I that out. That out. you charlatans out there that's what you're doing and some of you don't even realize that you're doing that but you're doing that okay okay yeah. so I'm just smart. okay that makes sense um so as a spiritual coach uh and like helping people through things mm -hmm. do you know that that mindset is completely and has put you in a bad position um the mindset that you just explained not your whole spiritual thing but the mindset of abundance and it feels good to spend money bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. it's hurting you mm -hmm. do you agree <clears throat> well, I think now, like in retrospect, I can see where e there were things, you know, now after being in this more financial tight spot, which I haven't experienced in the last two and a half years, um, because of the increasing debt and because of, um, having a slowdown month, whereas usually I had more money because I had less, was paying less on my credit cards. I had more money. And then I, you know, was running out <clears throat> and the, um, and then I started to, like, I went through everything and I actually canceled so much stuff like subscriptions. And I was just realizing like, I didn't think I could do that. You know, like I thought after it was so, it was like ego deflating <laughs> to be like, I guess I don't need to go to see like the most expensive hair stylist or I don't need to go get a blowout or, you know, like all these things that felt really good. Um, Your lifestyle just inflated with that money, <laughs> but it overinflated. And now you're in a position where you're financially to be very clear, but we're going to hopefully find ways out of it. Uh, but the taxes, that's all we've talked about so far. And we haven't even gotten into the credit card debt. We haven't even gotten into the car debt. We haven't even gotten into, you know, having an emergency fund, being able to survive. So, mm. so far not so good. Credit card debt. Mm. Yeah. So it's just, it's always hard to just get into because this is it's this this is so bad and I don't want to hurt you, but this is f so I'm here. I this is this is something this is something that pisses me off more than almost anything in the world. We have a previous balance of a thousand eight hundred forty six dollars, two hundred ninety nine dollars payments. Cool. We are making progress. Yay! Progress is happening. Fantastic. We about to buy a bunch of dumb shit because we got a mindset of abundance. So yay. But guess what? We're doing $343.67 of purchases. We're purchasing more than was even paid on when we're already basically at the credit limit of $2,000. And while that's all happening, $41.59 of interest is being charged. Why are you purchasing $4,000 in your checking account, bringing in uh, what, $6,500 a month? Why are you purchasing on a card that is already almost maxed out? Mm -hmm. um, I kind of do this, been doing this dance uh, with like credit cards where um, I don't want to spend the money that I have. Like, I feel like it makes more <laughs> sense to like, if I'm going out to eat or whatever, you know, buying something from Amazon, if I need, you know, like a household need, um, then I would rather do it from the credit card, pay off the credit card. So I have more money. What pay off the credit card? You're not paying off the credit card. You spent more than you paid off and you're losing an additional $41 and 59 cents in interest. You're losing that because mm -hmm. you're doing that. Mm -hmm. do you know that? Does that make sense? Yeah, the interest sucks. The interest sucks. It absolutely does. It is time to find a new dance partner instead of these credit cards. That is just, that's terrible. You spend the money when you have the money. If you don't have the money, you don't spend the money. 
It's okay. Don't make, don't make fun of the laugh. People have made fun of the laugh. It's the normal coping mechanism when someone is confronting you, so it is okay. This guy's good. He's good. Whoa. He's really who's, good. Who's this guy? Uh, he's a financial audit. Dude, what's his name? I don't know. I just call him financial audit. That's his channel. This guy is good. Don't make fun of the laugh. That's what people... That's a good call out, by the way. That's good. Jesus Christ. And I don't want you to be sitting here thinking that I'm here making the good financial choices all the time. Okay? What pisses me off is not that she's making the good financial choices or the bad financial choices. That I, I don't care about that. It's okay. We, we all have our flaws and stuff like that. I wouldn't care about the fact that she's... I don't care that she's materialistic. I don't care that she likes nice things. I don't care that she wants to pamper herself. I don't care about none of that. And I'm not even sitting here saying I make better choices than her. The difference is in what pisses me off. Huh? What'd you say? I didn't say nothing. What the fuck did you say? Whoa. Can you not be so aggressive? What the fuck did you say? I didn't say nothing. Yes, you did. So now you're calling me stupid in my face. Is that what you're doing? Is that what we're doing? No, I'm, no, I'm just I'm, replicating I'm, I'm, behavior I'm, I'm, I've seen you I'm, do. I'm, I'm, is that, is I, that, I, I know, is I know. Is you, that you recognize what I just did? Yeah, but I say it in your face, and you know damn well as No, a, you don't. Yes, you know I damn do. well, you say it right into the camera. You go, I do. I just want to try once. I never tried it. Thanks. How does it feel? Snaky. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, all that to say, uh, You're yeah. judging her basically because she's giving advice to people. I don't, no, she's charging! Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, it's like, it feels like, I mean, it's hard not to spend. This is gonna be offensive. Mm -hmm. I have to be offensive. I, I, the, the spiritual advice and all that stuff on the other side. I don't understand exactly what you're saying. We can talk about that, uh, but I don't know what's said in there. Are you in a place where you should be giving that kind of advice to people if you can't even stop yourself from the, something as basic as spending? Uh, touchdown, if I'm gonna play, we're gonna do a redo. But we're gonna have to do a conversion punt. Uh, well, yeah. You just made up a bunch of shit. But yes, touchdown, two point yes, conversion. Yes, 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 absolutely. Made all the points. Yes, absolutely. I got you. Yeah, I made up. Sports a bunch. not your forte? It's okay. Yeah, yes, I made up. You whole just bunch said, of shit. You, you went touchdown, flag on the play. Uh, and three, we're gonna do a three redo. point conversion. Yeah. Uh, kick punt. Yes. Okay. Home run. <laughs> it's okay. It's all good. I ain't mad at you, bro. Goal! Touchdown, yeah. seven points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Okay, I put everything in there. Okay. Well, I don't give people financial advice. I know, not financial <laughs> advice, but life advice. If you can't even take control of your own mm -hmm. misbehavior, should you be giving advice to other people? Mm -hmm. Well, I think maybe not financial, but... <laughs> life advice. You're not taking control of your life. Mm -hmm. And finances, whether we like it or not, is a huge part of our life, but this is a part of your life, and mm -hmm. you cannot control your spending. You just admitted so. So should you, in fact, be giving advice to other people if you cannot control an aspect of your life that is clearly wrong? Mm -hmm. Definitely willing to shift it. Your spending? Mm-hmm. Good. Why haven't you though? <clears throat> well, I have in the sense the last month in December, uh, I had to, like I had to cut back on things. You didn't cut back on anything. We just went through all this. It's a 50 honest Marys. What are you cutting back? There's no cut back. You should, I cut back on things that you're not seeing now. <laughs> oh, dude, no. Mm -hmm. This has to stop. And that's why these yeah. are all maxed out. That's Capital One. What did we do here? <laughs> this, this, I, I guy, like this guy. This guy. I like this guy because he's, he's backing up everything that he says. He's backing up everything that he says, and it's like when even when he's like, "Dude, no, stop." He's calling the bullshit right away. Mm. So, what does real cutting back look like? No honest Marys. You know you can't afford to go out, right? You know you can't afford to buy any designer clothes. You know you cannot afford to go to anything but great clubs. You know you cannot afford to go out to eat at all, right? To be very clear, not a single time. Mm. I'm speechless. Do you know you cannot afford that though? I get my lot. I feel like it saves me so much time though, so I can work on my business. Work on your business. How many hours a day are you working? It depends. Uh, and now I, I'm doing more things now. Any average. An average. How many days? Where hours a day are you working? Five. Then f you don't have time. That's stupid. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I want to watch that shit again. You need to bring that shit back, sir. I want to watch that shit back again, sir. Bring it back. I mean, it is. Where hours a day are you working? Five. Then f you don't have time. That's stupid. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. I'm sorry. I'm digging into you, but that's dumb. Mm. That's dumb, and you need to know that's dumb. That's why I'm being rough. <laughs> Put that guy up for presidency. Yeah. God, no. Good for him. Good for him. <laughs> Mm. Five hours a day. Oh, poor me. I'm working five hours a day and I can't cook. What do you mean it saves you time? Mm. Are you taking out from Honest Mary's every day? Taking or do you out? go and eat there? 
I take it out. Okay. Yeah. Well, at least that's a thing. But five hours a day working, you can congratulations cook. You can. Mm. There are 19 more hours. Mm. Oh, no, there's 18 more hours. Mm. Take away eight of them to sleep. Ten more hours. Uh-huh. We can't make a bowl of mac and cheese in ten hours? Put chicken in the oven for, in ten hours? I'm confused. I'm very mm. confused. Can you, do you, are you understanding this? Are you going to try to justify it? you got to give me something here. I'm just talking to a wall. Well, because I like to eat very healthy. That's part of my spiritual life is eating. That's part of my spiritual life is eating. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, let me try to hear that part. Do you, are you understanding this? Or are you going to try to justify it? you got to give me something here. I'm just talking to a wall. Well, because I like to eat very healthy. That's part of my spiritual life is eating. Ah! Get the fuck out of here! Ah, oh, shit! Get the fuck out of here! You know what this is like? There's nothing spiritual about what you do, boo. You know what this is like? This is like when religious people just justify everything with God. Yeah, it's God that... Let God, God handle it. It's God that made me want to sing on a plane. It's God, God that made me want... Fuck God that didn't shit. accrue all that interest rate. That's you, bitch. That's you being irresponsible. That's you wanted to buy fancy cars and do all this other dumb shit. You want to go to the store, bro. You want to buy designer Gucci, whatever it is. That's you. Don't put that on God to find the solution to a problem that a man made. And then you want to use spirituality to eat healthy. Lady, do you know what's really eating healthy? Taking care of your own food, watching the salt intake, watching the quantities of oil involved, making sure you get the right vegetables. It's not true that part of your spiritual life is to eat healthy. Because if it was, you would be taking care of making sure you get the best. But you eat out. Not because of spiritual life, because you're f***ing lazy. And guess what? You can go eat out if you can afford to, but you in this much debt and you can't, don't. If you can afford it, I got nothing to say. But you're maxing out credit cards talking about spiritual life. This is what happens. People will use their ideology to shield them from any accountability. And it's disgusting because it really reflects poorly on the ideology. I think that's a shame. I've known many spiritual people in my life, they don't talk like this, and they're not this irresponsible. This is just a grift, in my opinion. The real life coach in all this is him, that dude. Yeah. That's the real life coach in all of this. True. Calling your bullshit out. A real life coach is gonna be a financial advisor telling you you spend too much on this and that, and if you want your life to be better, you need to do this. A life coach is gonna be your doctor telling you you need to do this and do that, and you know that all those smokes and all those cigarettes that you're taking, you shouldn't do that. That's a life coach. You know, very healthy and Then buy some romaine and let us H-E-B. I don't care. Mm -hmm. Sorry, continue, I interrupted. It's, and it just, it costs more to eat healthy. Yes. Even if at like the grocery store, like but it really does. as much does. as you are spending. You don't have to get the top of the line organic crap to be healthy. Mm -hmm. Just don't eat Panda Express every day like I do. It would, I think it would take just some open-mindedness or seeing what else is possible uh, for shopping. I How to save and shop. Do we need to go on a shopping trip? <laughs> we might need to go on a shopping trip. Oh Let me know if you guys need a bonus episode of us going on a shopping trip. All right. I'm going to stop it there. You guys can go watch the rest of the episode because it's good. There's a lot. It's over an hour long. But I want to take a second to watch this because... Financial stress is a real thing. There are certain things in the economy and, you know, in terms of job availability that made things a lot more difficult for people. But a lot of it is also a lot of personal choice. I know too many poor people who are eating out on a regular basis, maxing out credit cards, all this other stuff, playing b-ball out behind the school. Um, and when you engage in that behavior, it fucks you up. And that's self-destructive. And then you're going to blame it on everything around you and circumstances. But no, that's really you doing that to yourself. So I don't know. I, I just hear this like, her maxing out credit cards and just doing the minimum payment, that gives me super anxiety. I just could never. I have two credit cards, one for my business and one for my personal life. My personal life, I never touch it unless I'm running through the expenses of my business. And when I used to touch my personal thing, I only spent as much as I knew I could pay. If I didn't know I could pay it easily at the end of the month, I didn't touch it. I was not buying stuff. For a long time, they would hit me up. You want a credit limit increase? No. You want a credit limit increase? No. Why? Because my income, I knew... I don't even want to increase that ceiling. I was never someone who spent like that, but let's say I wanted to, I wanted to make sure that I would just pay it off. You know what sometimes I would do? If I knew I had to make an expense that was beyond my credit limit, you know what I used to do? I used to make a payment on my credit card before yeah. so it went to negative that's and then smart, I bought it. That's a smart, that's that's a smart fucking shit to do. If you don't got the discipline to do certain things, create an environment where you're less likely to break. Do you understand? If you're not good with sugar, create an environment where you won't easily get access to sugar. <clears throat> Don't keep it in the house. Tell your family, like, please, can y'all help me on this? Whatever you got to do. 
You know the thing is? Go ahead. I used to be, I used to do both. Be bad with my money and do better with my money, okay? The difference between being bad with my, with my money and making the bad decisions, okay, is that the grat- gratification you get right now, but the stress you get later. Yeah. With discipline, it's the opposite. You're kind of, oh, it's not fun. Yeah. But the gratification you get later because you're able to do much more things. Yeah. And that's the thing. It's like a bit how your body works in the intake of oxygen and intake of uh, carbon monoxide. Your body can take easier carbon monoxide and process it, but in the end, you end up dying. Sure. Where oxygen is harder to process, but you get to live. It's the same thing. The hmm. discipline gets boring at first. Mm-hmm. It really, that's like, ugh, I got to do this and that, and I got to be an adult. But at the end, you could sleep at night. Yeah. Someone, someone, <laughs> someone, someone said that too. They said discipline is freedom. Yep. And it sounds counterintuitive, but discipline is giving you the tools to have a free life, free from a lot of the negative consequences that no discipline offers you. Because when your life is in chaos, you're just beholden to circumstance. Yeah. Interest, taxes, debt, whatever the fuck it is. You know, when your life is chaos, it's random people coming in, causing problems. But when you're disciplined, you're much more centered. You're much more controlled. And as a result of that, you're able to have some freedom and take control of the things that are immediate. So, yeah, it was one of those interesting quotes like, discipline affords you f- freedom. Yeah. But you know, like, when I save my money, I can spend it later. But you don't, that you don't get that freedom right away. No. Whereas spending your money not being disciplined, you get the sense of freedom right away. But it's really just a sense. Right. It's just really hidden. Can you say you're you free? No, can you, you say you you're can't. free no, a you year can't. from now when you got all this debt? They've you, canceled all your credit card you and you can't go anywhere you can. and you're in debt but you and you can't buy nothing. You don't feel so it. is that freedom? You don't feel it right away. YOLO, right? You only live once. Yeah. But you pay taxes a lot. <laughs> YOLO, you only live once. And you're about to live a lot, lot, lot shorter if you keep yelling YOLO. Your one life that you only live is going to be a substantially shorter. Mm. Anyways. I'm just saying. So, I do. Interesting video. We want to hear your takes in the below. What are some financial tips that you guys had to avoid debt or get out of debt that you guys may have accumulated? Hopefully, for all you people stressing and dealing with it now, I hope you guys take it seriously. Your credit score, it matters. Your stress levels, they matter. And until you take that seriously above taking random trips and all that stuff, you will never be able to feel free. You have shackles. You might not be able to see them, but they're there. And they get tighter and tighter. And don't let them get to the point where they start cutting off your circulation because then, bitch, it's too late. And then we got to cut up flims. We so I don't want that for you flames. guys. I don't want that for you guys. All right? So that's all for today.